In this video, I'll show you how to create reports in your ASP.NET Core application and how to use the HTML5 document viewer control to display these reports on a web page. DevExpress reporting has the following prerequisites in ASP.NET Core applications. Let's get started. Here is my ASP.NET Core application. First step is to install the devexpress.aspnetcore.reporting package. Right click on the project and select Manage NuGet Packages. It will open the NuGet Package Manager. I'm using an online feed, but it's possible to also use a local NuGet feed that is available after you run the DevExpress installation. Search for devexpress.aspnetcore.reporting in the search box and click Install. Next, let's add NPM packages. Right-click the application and use the NPM configuration file item template to add the package.json file to the project. Add the required dependencies. Take note that the version of the NuGet and NPM packages should match. Save the package.json. In the Solution Explorer, right-click it and select Restore Packages. This will add the Node Modules folder to the application project. Configure the application so that it can serve this folder's files. Open the startup file and modify it to configure services. Add the required using directives. We use custom MVC controllers to perform client-server interaction, so call the add MVC method at the application startup. You should also register reporting services in the application's dependency injection container and initialize these reporting services. Let's add a sample report to the application. Right-click the solution and add a new DevExpress report item. I select a blank report in the wizard to continue in the designer. I drag and drop a label control from the toolbox on the design surface to display only static text in a document. Take note that the toolbox displays reporting items under the DX Report Controls node in ASP.NET Core applications. Now let's add the document viewer to the application to display the added report on the web page. I create a viewer method in Home Controller. Right-click this method and select Add View. A scaffolding dialog pops up allowing you to configure the view. Click Add and observe a created Razor-based view in the View's Home folder. In this view, import the devexpress.aspnet core namespace and link all the required sources. Next, use the Web Document Viewer Wrapper to display the document viewer on the web page. To open my report in the document viewer, I'll call the bind method and pass the report's instance as a parameter. The bind method also accepts an identifier of a report from a storage if the storage is registered in the application. Open the layout.cs HTML page and move the jQuery scripts required by the viewer above the render body section so that the environment container scripts do not override these scripts. Let's build the application and run it in the browser. Here is the web document viewer. I can preview, print, and export my report. The document viewer generates document pages asynchronously. 
Users can preview them immediately. There's no need to wait till the entire document is created. This is useful in the case of large documents. With the Document Viewer, you can cache documents in long-term storage, such as file or cloud storage, and manage your server memory according to your needs. To learn more about our Document Viewer and report creation, make sure to check out the documentation on our website and linked example on GitHub. And that's it for this video. If you'd like to learn more about our reporting controls, you can watch more videos from our playlist or check out the documentation on our website. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified every time we release new content. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.